Israel, emboldened by its backing from the United States, may become increasingly assertive. However, Israel must take into account the broader Palestinian support system that includes countries such as Iran, Iraq, Syria, and most recently, Yemen. Through Hezbollah TV, Yemen's leader, Abdul Malik al-Houthi, sent a stern warning to the United States. Any direct military intervention on behalf of Israel would be met with full-scale retaliation using all of Yemen's military assets. But how robust is Yemen's military might? Let's delve deeper. Yemen's military evolution has spanned various phases and conflicts over the centuries. It began with the powerful kingdom of Himyar in southern Yemen, which thrived from the 1st to the 6th centuries. The genesis of a modern Yemeni military emerged when the Turks began recruiting tribes to form four gendarmery battalions and three cavalry regiments in the late 19th century. Subsequently, Italy enlisted thousands of Yemenis, providing them with military training in their colony in Somalia before dispatching them to Libya to quell the Senussi revolt in 1911. Eventually, North Yemen and South Yemen unified into the Republic of Yemen in 1990, though the amalgamation stirred military and political tensions. Since 2015, Yemen has been engulfed in its own internal struggle, the Yemeni Civil War. This ongoing conflict involves various factions, including the internationally recognized Yemeni government backed by Saudi Arabia and the United States, and the Houthi rebels supported by Iran. This strife has precipitated a severe humanitarian crisis in Yemen, with various warring factions conducting military operations on its soil. After nine tumultuous years of warfare, through Oman's mediation, Saudi Arabian delegates finally sat down with Houthi officials last April to broker a peace deal. Fast forward to 2023, Yemen ranks 74th out of 145 countries with a PDOR in X asterisk score of 0.9391. Their defense budget stands at 1 billion United States dollars. With a population of 30,984,689 people, Yemen trains approximately 450,000 active military personnel each year. In addition, they command a paramilitary force of 375,000 individuals, bringing their total estimated warfighting strength to 420,000 people. Their army, consisting of 35,000 personnel, boasts a fleet of 4,800 units. This includes 100 tanks, 10 mobile artillery units, 40 towed artillery units, and 25 rocket artillery units. Their main battle tanks consist of various models, including the T-5455, T-62, M-60 Patton, T-72, and T-80. These main battle tanks are specialized vehicles designed specifically for ground warfare. When assessing Yemen's reconnaissance capabilities, we see that their fleet consists of vehicles like the Panhard AML, Panhard AML 245, and the BRDM-2. In terms of their infantry fighting vehicles, they deploy the BMP-1 and BMP-2. Yemen's armored personnel carriers, crucial in battlefields for transporting infantry troops, include the M113, BTR-40, BTR-60, BTR-152, HMV, and Alvis Saladin. Typically, APCs are fortified vehicles usually equipped with a range of machine guns. Yemen's artillery mortars feature the L1681mm mortar, Panhard AML, and other calibers ranging from 82mm up to 160mm. Their howitzer artillery includes models such as the M46, D20, S23, and the M114, 155mm. The self-propelled artillery in their arsenal includes the two S1. These vehicles are built with integrated artillery systems, eliminating the need for a separate towing vehicle. The onboard artillery can be a cannon, howitzer, or other artillery weaponry. This mobile unit can swiftly maneuver between different locations, whether within or outside the battlefield.
In terms of tactical ballistic missile systems, Yemen uses the OTR-21, Frog-7, Scud, and Hwasong-5. For their multiple rocket launch systems, their arsenal features models like the RM-70, BM-21, BM-13, BM-14, and BM-BM-27. Their air defense artillery is equipped with the likes of the ZU-23-2, ZSU-23-4, 61K S-60, and Bofors 40mm gun. To further bolster their air defenses against aerial threats, they utilize anti-aircraft missiles such as the SA-2, SA-3, SA-6, 200 SA-7, 120 SA-9, 12 Tor M1, 9K31 Strela-1, Tunguska M1, and P-15 Termit. Since the Houthi group has reconciled with the Yemeni government, their military strength certainly warrants attention. Evidently, they partook in a military parade last September 21st in Yemen's capital. They showcased new cruise missiles like the Quds-4, Quds-Z0, Sayyad, and Sejil. They also possess precision-guided ballistic missiles such as Tufan, Akil, liquid-fueled, Tankel, Myun, and Badir-4, solid-fueled. Furthermore, their advanced anti-aircraft missiles include the Mute, Soccer-2, Bark-1, and Bark-2. Among their most sophisticated weaponry is the suicide drone Wa'id-2, a copy of Iran's Shahed-136, which boasts a range of 1,242 miles and is armed with a high-explosive warhead. Lastly, the Houthi group recently acquired the Zulfikar missile, also known as Zulfagar. This Iranian-made medium-range ballistic missile is highly regarded for its multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle capabilities, allowing it to carry several warheads that can be directed to individual targets. Now, let's dive into Yemen's naval prowess. Their navy boasts a strength of 10,500 personnel and is equipped with up to 35 vessels. Notably, they have two corvette units, specifically the Tarantul-1, originally manufactured by the Soviet Union. Their patrol capabilities are enhanced with 15 patrol ships, including the Sana'a made by the United States and the fast 37.5-meter attack patrol boats, an Australian creation. The Navy is also armed with three mine-sweeping vessels from the Natya and Yevgenia classes. Their missile boats feature eight OSA units, a Soviet design, and three fast attack crafts of the Type 037 class from China. Additionally, they operate three Polnokni class landing ships, a product of Polish-Soviet collaboration. Now, let's soar high and examine Yemen's Air Force. It comprises a fleet of 177 aircraft, managed and operated by 7,500 personnel. This includes 76 fighter jets, 61 helicopters, 8 transport planes, 30 trainers, 2 special mission planes, and 14 attack helicopters. Among their fighter jet collection are the Russian-made MiG-29, the Soviet-manufactured MiG-21, and Sukhoi Su-22, and the Northrop F-5 from the United States. For transport needs, they rely on the Antonov An-26 made in Ukraine. Their helicopter fleet features the American-made Bell 206, Bell 212, and Bell UH-1, as well as the Russian-produced Mil Mi-17, Mil Mi-14, Mil Mi-24, and Kamov Ka-27. When it comes to training aircraft, Yemen deploys the Aero L-39 from the Czech Republic and the Northrop F-5 from the United States. In the realm of drones, Yemen possesses various models from the Vimple R-27 family. It's also believed that they've acquired around 600 surface-to-air missile launchers over the years, with many believed to be of Soviet and Russian origin, though the specifics remain undisclosed. Furthermore, Yemen boasts an elite troop force known as the Special Security Forces, renowned for their expertise in special operations, counterterrorism, and reconnaissance. This group undertakes a myriad of tasks related to national security and defense. This includes their roles in civil wars and the ongoing conflict against the Houthi rebels before peace was established. This force was initially founded as part of Yemen's strategy to counteract Al-Qaeda's influence. 